you get to go to Lokwars as well. For all those people who might not have even got a chance because we go out in 40 different countries as well. Mm. So Lokwars, a museum over here, depicts the picture of Pakistani cultural and heritage, as mm. Maha said. I know, and, and I've got my notes here, and, but I just closed of, my diary. And all of that <laughs> is a pictorial evidence right in front of you. It's mm. not just that, you know, we have put in pots over there or whatnot. We mm. even have figures over there. Mm. And there's, there's quite a lot to see, no, and you're yeah. always amazed of the fact exactly. that the type of work is being done over exactly there. because the thing is they've actually gone to great uh you know lengths to actually preserve and document the heritage that's the words because my notes are right here and also um on, we're going to ask what this means as well because it's about uh, preserving the tangible and intangible this is from their website um heritage of pakistan and it's promoting it and the thing is we covered it a couple of years exactly. ago as well and it was really wonderful went over there and you know the intangible part i think we get to ask from the people who are concerned as well but mm. the tangible part we can see it it's right in front of our eyes mm. and ladies and gentlemen the amount of preservation which has actually taken place within log versailles is that we can even get to see all of those machineries mm. or the machine or the parts which we used to probably make lassi mm. or how we used to cook food in balochistan or in punjab or in it's every amazing. other province of pakistan so mm. it is very interesting and if you haven't been to log versailles I think from tomorrow onwards you need to go on because there's a Lok Versa Mela starting from tomorrow onwards till the 16th of this month. There'll be shows, there'll be puppet shows, there'll be concerts. And they, I mean, let's get the details. We'll get the details and we've been very lucky. We've been joined by Dr. Fazia Sayed. She is the Executive Director of Lok Versa. Assalamu alaikum. Thank, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you for inviting me. And thank you for joining us on such a busy time. Yes. I know because the <laughs> Mela starting tomorrow. A lot of preparations. Yeah. Yes. So for all our viewers who are not aware of Lokversa, maybe they've recently moved to the country, maybe they're living abroad. Yes. What is Lokversa to you? It is a national institute that has the voice of all the provinces and it documents and it promotes traditional culture. Mm. So we have two museums, we have a research center, we have a well-equipped media center, mm. we do documentaries, we document music, we do a lot of events, mm. yeah. uh, a, a lot of activities for children, youth, all ages. And we do have and a library too, right? We have a very good library specialized in culture. Exactly. Oh, amazing. And we also even, I know there was even Ari Baza was doing a show from yes. Lokversa as well. All right, and we do have images in the as background well. as well, so you can probably take a look what goes on within Lokversa as well, but just okay. to get started with this Mela. Okay, yes. first of all, the history of the Mela, it, sure. because it dates back to three decades as well. Yes. So yes. who initiated this and what's the reason or the yes. purpose of it? The institute was pioneered by Faiz Ahmad Faiz, mm -hmm. a very famous poet. Yes. Yes. And among the earlier pioneering directors, Aksi Mufti was there. And they started the Mela. The magnitude was not as big, mm -hmm. uh, but gradually it became a, a sort of a part and parcel of Islamabad's life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it is very famous and people just know that when, whenever it starts, they start pouring in. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it has it has a long history. Now it has achieved that stature mm. with all the other traditional festivals and mm. urs and you know something that people have in their DNA. Yes, there will be a mela and we have to go. Yeah. So it is ten days. Mm. Every day there are different things, okay. different concerts, very grand productions mm. every day, okay. new ones. And this time we are encouraging people to come in the early hours more mm. because it starts from eleven up to uh, ten o'clock at mm. night. And people used to rush into the late hours okay. because of the concerts and because, mm. you know, they get, get done with work, etc. But we are now having a whole series of concerts in the middle of the day oh, from 1 to 2. Excellent. And it is a music show and every day it will be a different show. So mm. we want people to come in the early hours, especially the expats. Mm. Uh, I think it is uh, easier to go around, yeah. less people, it is safer. Mm. So I think that they will really enjoy Okay, and now in regards, to, like you said, um, you know, it's it's now in, incorporated into people's DNA. Yes. It has been there for 30, yes. uh, 30 years. Um, what has, how have you managed to keep it fresh and interesting for people? Because 30 years is, it's not an easy feat to keep people yes. interested. Yes. Actually, we have so much there that uh, no matter how many times they come, they're not able to see it all. Mm -hmm. uh, firstly, we have uh, provincial pavilions. Mm -hmm. So all pr uh, five provinces will have pavilions. There we would have artisans at work. Okay. So a weaver would be sitting with a khadi mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, an embroider would be, uh, the guy would be sitting there mm -hmm. making things. So uh, people get to see that, children get to see that, mm -hmm. and we have really encouraged the provinces to bring 
bringing new faces, new people okay. to promote. Then we have dancers okay. wow. and those dancers, it's not easy to witness those things, you no, know, so we, this is really an opportunity. So this time we are almost having all new dance groups. Oh, wow. uh, the concerts are all new productions. Okay. Uh, so I think that there is, there will be a folk theater this time, two shows a day at oh, 12 amazing. and 4. And we have a rooftop theater that we're trying to renovate. So we will have a folk theater, like a traditional folk theater. That's and then there amazing. are these camels with which people actually do these dancing shows and well, whatnot. We are having wrestlers this time also. Wow. From, wrestlers? From Gujarat. So amazing. many new things, you know. So it's going to be kabaddi as well over there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not kabaddi this time, probably mm. next time. Oh. But we'll have proper wrestling matches for two days. That is a very special thing. Absolutely. Mm. That's, that sounds incredible. And like, I mean, that, that sounds, well, I think we're going to have to go and definitely and check it out. And other than that, ladies and gentlemen, Element, you get the best cultural food as well. I mean, yes, you'll get, a lot you'll of get lassi, you'll Very get saji, the food yes. is you'll great. get all of those traditional and cultural dishes which every province is probably eat quite a lot as well. Mm. So that's what it, because the last time when Maha, me and you went, yes. I think we went to the Balochistan province uh, segment and we then did. we had Saji, Saji as well. Saji, yes. And then one of our uh, internees' father was here as well and we oh, sat yes, down together so and fun. we did it together too so as well. But other than that, Good time. Uh, talking about the concert, because you know, I've always been a, uh, an avid lover of music as well. Who are the people who are actually coming to I think inaugural will be a highlight. Mm. We are doing a whole production. Can we give out any names though? Okay, Zareen Panna is one. Wow. Amazing. Khwaja Najmul Hassan is helping us out, Amazing. who is also a, a legendary and person. And he's a legend from PTV as well. Yes, yeah. and we are showing uh, romantic folk tales through the Indus, you oh, know, amazing. so through the banks and, and so we will start from the north and we will touch about five tales amazing. in mime and in dance and with live music mm. so that uh, uh, that will be really nice the second day mm. we will have vasaki mm. wow amazing so we are having children or of, of very famous singers like son of shaukat ali mm. and uh, son of reshma wow. and uh, granddaughter of bali jetty mm. so all these biggies you know that so can we, we have get had. a room over there because <laughs> you know <didn't laughs> around uh, for like 10 days as well but other than that there's one more thing which i wanted to ask and that is what do you want people to experience when they come to this lok versamil okay other than watching what they what will be incredible mm. i really would like them to meet the people who have come from all different places mm. i think there will be about 700 people from every region of pakistan mm. and i would want them to talk to them to engage with them to buy things from them mm. uh, ask them questions about how they make it how mm. is their life i think that is the most unique Amazing. part of the experience. Okay, now just so going back, you um, you mentioned that you've asked every province to send new faces yeah. and to promote their culture and uh, that that provincial yes. heritage. Um, who do you uh, coordinate with and who are these people in these provinces that find the talent that you showcase yeah. and learn? Because it does get difficult to get people on board then. Mm. No, it is not really because yeah. people like us or institutions like us, uh, you know, we, we yeah. have a hand on the pulse. So yes. uh, it is the provincial cultural departments. Okay. And you know that in 2010, culture devolved as a subject, mm. as a portfolio. So it is very nice because the provincial uh, culture ministries or whichever ministry they come under, mm. mostly tourism and culture. Mm. They have their experts there, they mm. have their connections, they have their linkages. We mm. also have our linkages, you know, very, mm. very well-rooted linkages. Yeah. So they they invite people and the provinces help out a lot in this festival okay. because we alone cannot manage it. Mm. Uh, so it's it's a collaborative collaborative event. Amazing, I read, you know, such Amazing. big events need to be uh, done with collaborations yes. as well. And then That's other how partners. they can be so big and successful. Yeah, but other than that, now, since I want people to actually get to know that, how can they get in? Is there yes. a fee for that or do yes. we have to buy a ticket to get in? There are tickets. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 50 rupees, so very cheap. That's and cheap. you can actually, I will strongly recommend that get it in advance. Mm. We have a season pass, mm. uh, which is 450 rupees and you get 10 entries. Wow. So you can okay. either come on all 10 days mm. or if three people are going, you can get three punches together. Mm. It just saves you the hassle of standing in the queues yeah. mm. and they are available at Centaurus and Illusions. So okay, what we're going to do is that, you know, we're going to promise you on air okay. that the moment it's going to take start, I think we are going to come on Sunday probably. We're okay. planning to come on Sunday and for all those amazing viewers who are out there, 
we are going to go to the mela ourselves, you know, our team, Maha, me, and we're going to talk to different people. We'll showcase whatever is being exhibited over there. That's a promise on air as well. But, you know, in days to come, how do you see the importance of such melas? Because earlier we did a show mm -hmm. where we were talking about this flower exhibition and a bird show which yeah. took place as well. How, how do you think that we can inculcate all those people from different walks of life to probably take out a bit of time, come over there and experience a feeling of awe? Yes, I think it is not. Some people think it is entertainment. I think it is much, much more than entertainment. I think it is uh, an effort to bring back our youth to a certain cultural identity and make our youth be proud of our past and our heritage and our current heritage also. So um, it's more than that. And, and all those who are not Pakistanis, I would also want to invite them a lot because this is, these are the moments, these are the opportunities where you get to see the real Pakistan, you know, yeah. not just Islamabad. I'm not saying Islamabad is not real, but I'm just saying that there is much more to Pakistan than Islamabad. Mm. And these are beautiful opportunities to witness people from Gwadar. You know, they will be boat yeah. makers wow. from Gwadar and they will be... And like, it's all authentic. Yes, yeah. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And also, uh, you know, I know you mentioned that you'd like the expert community to come and visit and also a lot of expert communities they can't go to these areas yes, so yes. this is the best way for you to come and see what these province provinces we are have like. special arrangements mm -hmm. you know Great. we have a separate gate for them we mm -hmm. have special arrangements mm -hmm. so they feel comfortable they get the parking they get mm -hmm. full protocol mm -hmm. and especially for inaugural mm -hmm. I really want uh, our expert community to be there because mm -hmm. the show is just amazing yeah. and so they for should all not those miss people who are out there and our expats please make sure that you, you know, show up and it, it'll be great and, you know, it's a request as well because we want you guys to see our culture and culture brings us uh, together. That's Absolutely. what it is and that's what the sole purpose of it is, mm. that people get to know about the culture of Pakistan and for all those people who actually keep on asking other people, okay, you know, what happens in Punjab, what happens in Balochistan or how is Pakistan because yeah. we haven't been around, mm. we never got the chance. This is your chance, so please make sure that you step outside and do that too. And other than that, mm. on occasions which are so massive on scale, what type of security protocols do we undergo or what type of we have, preparations uh, do we need to We have arranged for almost three times more security than before. Okay. And we're making an effort. Um, so mm. we'll do our best yeah. and the agencies, the government agencies mm. are really helping out a lot. Okay, are great. there any other police departments and any other agencies which you want to name that you know they are in collaboration police, with you guys? And uh, police itself and traffic police and mm. special branch, mm. they all are very supportive, very helpful. The local uh, administration, mm. you know, the DC's office and Amazing. the commissioner's office, very supportive. Yeah, and it's, a, it's a proper event, so there's all the proper protocols. It's a national we, level. It's a yes. national yes. level yes. event, so obviously the national level uh, protocol will be yes. taking place now um now you said you would like you know you, you're targeting um, everyone obviously and especially people who have never experienced the culture yes. of Pakistan yes. that's wonderful but like, as you mentioned um, you know it's about uh, celebrating our heritage yes. and our culture um, in regards to children and schools um, how important do you think it is for them to maybe you know do a field visit or a school trip to uh, you know to a mela like a, this a lot of a lot of schools do organize yes. that actually all the responsible okay, I saw them schools. last time this is why <laughs> yeah. I was asking and schools. it, it yeah. looks just so nice you yeah. know to see them all together in uniform and they're rushing around and shopping okay. and all that mm. yes and we are giving a special discount to people who organize with us mm. earlier mm. if they want to come between 11 and 12 then we have a discounted rate for groups so we are calling that early bird risk, uh, discount <laughs> excellent that's great <laughs> and especially for students you know in big groups Wonderful. I, think, I, I think that is just special I just can't wait to be there yeah. I, think I, that's what I want to mention a special program we are having on the 9th right. uh, which is Constitution Day okay. I mean Constitution Day is 10th but we are celebrating it on 9th mm. and we have very special program and Chairman Senate will be there mm. other special guests will be there mm. and that will show the unity in diversity. Wonderful. Wow. And now, um, in regards to the information that uh, everyone, because obviously this has been an organized yes. event, is there anywhere where people can access this information? In our website. To yes. Our okay. website, which is www.lokvirsa.org.bk. So we have maps of the venue mm. and exactly the mm. schedule of all the concerts and who's coming in these concerts. Mm. We have five provincial nights. Okay. So, for example, one night will be all Balochi music. Okay. And one night will be Pakhtun and then five other productions, which are very beautiful productions. Okay. Amazing that is. But there's one more thing. 
There's one more thing which I need to say over here to all those people uh, who are out there and who are tuned in, and that is that you know whenever you go to such melas or occasions, mm. what kids do is, I mean, parents are obviously guilty of that too. That you know, for example, if you're buying an ice cream or popcorn. People throw so much rubbish on the floor and, you know, if, if you go to Lok Versa, there are like dustbins everywhere at every nook and corner of the place. Mm -hmm. So please make sure that you do not really throw garbage onto the floor as well because it would make us feel or the other people feel as if, you know, that they're not looking after the vicinity as well and then the, there's it's garbage home, and then country. you don't have fun as well. Yeah. So please make sure that you don't do that and then we have got images of these, you know, uh, musical nights as well. This uh, is from last year's event. Yeah, I think this is for, and you know, the best part is that everybody's dressed mm -hmm. as uh, to represent their province as well and wh That's whatever great. area they are from and then they speak the same language. And then for all those people who want to buy rugs, carpets yes. and or even the provincial dresses because yeah. i go there and i just want to buy every provincial outfit they're absolutely <laughs> yes. stunning but yes. coming back to the mm. point where you said that the inaugural ceremony is going to be a great one yes. as well so yes. who's, who, who's going to do that first of all who's going to and do the honors? are people still able to attend that, that has to be a surprise oh, okay. <laughs> that needs oh wonderful. to be a surprise okay and, and in yeah. regards to attendance yes. uh, for the inaugural are, are people able to still attend this or is this now sold out no no they can attend once you get in Inside the mela, everything is free, Wonderful. other than your shopping. You oh, know, that we cannot take responsibility for. Wonderful. But all the entertainment is free. Mm. No concert has any tickets, the mm. afternoon concerts and the evening concerts mm. and the theater. Oh, wow. So there is a lot of stuff that you can do. Mm. And the ticket is very small. But do we have a set number of tickets uh, per day as well? Because no. if, for example, if we don't get our hands on the ticket, and then by no, the you last minute, we're not getting them, then what do we do? No, you will have tickets. Okay. There is no set limit. But I encourage people to come earlier just because it is easier to walk, you mm. know. Otherwise, it gets a bit crowded. And I also want to inform you and kind of apologize in advance that we will make the traffic one way. And traffic police is really siding with us on that. It is just course, easier for everybody. So coming in from Rawalpindi side All right. and coming out from the crescent moon, yeah, yeah, moon yeah, yeah. and star. I get it. Yeah. I get it totally. But so, the thing is, I think everyone before they do make their way to Lokwer, so do check online. Yes. Make sure you've planned in advance because it's going to be very busy. Even when we recorded a couple of years ago, it was. It was insane. So, <laughs> so, so let me let me explain to everybody for all those people who are planning to come to Lok Versa, what you need to do is that you need to come f face towards uh, Faisal Mosque on Express Highway, take a U-turn, and when you're going to take a U-turn, there's a left on the board right next to the parade ground which says Lok Versa. You have to go in from there, go in straight, drive in straight, and right in the front of you, you'll get to see Lok Versa as well. Yes. That's what it is. Yeah. But if, if there's any information which we are missing out because the lady has to go. She's a very busy lady okay. these days. Yes, it's, it's I no can tell tomorrow. you a little more. Yeah. Uh, we are trying our best to make it convenient for people to come. So we have a shuttle running, oh, a free oh, shuttle running from Lokvirsa to Appara yeah. to the highway stop and then back to Lokvirsa. So there will be three uh, shuttles that will run continuously. Mm. Then we are also running a shuttle between the Moon and Crescent. Mm. There's a big parking lot there mm. from there to Lokvirsa. So people can park a little away from Lok Versa, there is a huge parking lot. Mm. And then we, this is a free shuttle also, just to make it a bit convenient for people. And are these and those golf caddies as well? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's like a proper... This is like an 18-seater, yeah. Wow. Oh, wonderful. And it's such, so good. These are really good uh, ideas. I'm really trying our, our best to, to organize. To, yeah, no, that's to really make wonderful. it easier for people. So and if you want, want to thank other partners of yours... Well, any or last or message any, anybody like or to share. You, if you I want think to provinces, anything. they are really very important partners. Mm. And then the security agencies right. and my fantastic team that is working with me. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. Best of luck with okay. the, the Thank inauguration you. tomorrow Thank and the, uh, the highlights before. You I'm pray excited. that there is no rain for the next 10 days. Well, we just read the yes. news. We just read the news. Fingers crossed. Today, yes. I have lost yes. my AP. today uh, it will rain, but after today I will yes. try then, and pray that it doesn't rain. Then it has to be rain. a mela break okay, for well, the uh, rain. Yes. We'll have a mela break from the... the and do you remember when we went the last time it was raining? Too. And oh, so we had to stop shooting and then we had to sit somewhere. Okay. And that's what we, did. Yeah. we have a special arrangement up there. But okay, a bit so. of drizzle would do yes. it. Right. You know, you'll enjoy it. And Pakistanis love that, right? So it's great. Thank you so much for <laughs> Thank your time you very much. And taking time to talk to us. Guys, that we're talking about the Lok Versa Mela, which will be starting from tomorrow for 10 days. It is about celebrating the provinces and their cultural heritage and everything. So do go and check it out.
largest cultural activity in Pakistan is the annual national folk festival, Lok Mela, held in Islamabad in October each year. Over the past two decades, this festival has taken on an international flavor and more than 20 different countries have sent their artisans and performers to participate in the festival. Nationally, the festival has become a thing of pride for artisans and performers who come on their own to participate. Most important of all, the provinces of Pakistan and Azad Jammu and Kashmir put up beautifully decorated pavilions and visitors have the unique opportunity to see an assortment of Pakistan's traditionally rich culture in the federal capital of Islamabad for an exciting 10 days. An exhibition of artisans at work under the banner of the Heritage Museum forms the core of this festival. Pavilions of each province depict their own regional culture and crafts. The research and media center of Lok Virsa arranges groups of dancers that perform all over the festival grounds, inviting visitors to join in. And in the evening, arranges music concerts from all parts of Pakistan. This festival is a true depiction of the diversity found in Pakistan.